Hey, welcome back. I haven't played this in a long time. Or anything else in a long time, because I don't... I don't play anymore. I have a full-time job and I can't get the enthusiasm to play anything. So I forgot how to play this and let's just open up and battle finder and play something. Alright. Battle contracts, what the fuck is this? Game modes, great. Let's find something assuming it's still um, active. Do people still play this? I don't know, let's find out. It's free, so you know, may as well. Ah, uh, yesterday was E3, 2014. Uh, <laughs> that being said, I don't know when the hell I'm... You know, I'm... I'm. Well, actually, no, wait, never mind. Yeah, I don't know when the hell I'm going to up upload this. I finally got all the data back from my old, old um, laptop. So all the footage that we recorded from fucking a year ago, <laughs> I still haven't uploaded. Uh, so things are back in full production now. Yay! I can edit now instead of doing my job because that's what I do at work. I do I spend hours doing nothing. Okay. So yesterday was E3. Uh, I'm I uploaded a good deal of it so far. I'm still uploading it. Um, overall, well, I, I, I with uh, Spawner and I, we we only actually watched. Um, Microsoft and Sony. We we didn't bother watching EA and Ubisoft because, because you know we want to get food so we eat so we can still breathe. Um, and we also didn't think it'd be that worthy. We just you know, big things that were revealed. Whatever. Also Nintendo like, pff, who fucking cares about Nintendo? <laughs> so here we are, uh, 2014. Yay! Yes. Whoa, 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 whoa! Holy shit! Loud. Jesus. I don't know how the fuck to play this. Let's spawn and figure it out. So, um, what did I think? I liked Microsoft's presentation. They redeemed themselves a lot from last year, entirely about games. It seemed like it really they didn't um, release much, even though it was entirely just games and all that was great. And they were very on point, like boom, 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 on a roll, like game after game after game. Uh, I really like that. A uh, hmm. I need to stop doing that, because when I, when I edit, and I hear that every 10 seconds, it drives me nuts. Can I get some transportation, eh? That'd be great. Oh, I'm just going to run. Fuck it. So... They opened with Call of Duty, which is stupid as fuck. Not as a marketing thing, because as a marketing thing, it's good, but... Come on, Call of Duty, you need to just die already. Who still plays it? I know it's millions of people that still play it. It's mostly normies. They're not gamers. They're not true gamers. So, let's see. <laughs> I actually went in depth with all the games when I was editing. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, I had sex. Uh, ooh. Yeah, I'm doing work for the team. Beep, boop, bop, boop, boop, bop. Um, <laughs> what, the, what the hell was after Call of Duty? I don't remember, I'll just throw them out. Uh, there was a uh, fucking... Wow, I'm drawing a blank. E uh, mm. I know there were so many games. Oh, oh, Sunset Overdrive, there we go, that's that's a game. Uh, yeah, personally I'm not I'm not really irate that Insomniac's doing an exclusive thing for them. Obviously, they, they what, what's their faces paid it, pay them to do it. And whatever, you know, it's still a game. Uh, I like it. I, I like the overall presentation of it. I like, you know, the general thing of it. However, um, I mentioned this before uh, in the E3 video discussion. I don't like how, um, what is it? Just, just little tidbit things like all the enemies, well, not all of them, but most of the enemies, particularly the alien kind, the monster kind are direct, like, cartoonified versions from Resistance 3. That's literally what they are. It kind of irritates me. And they feel out of place. They really feel out of place in their designs. And so I should have come up with something different. Oh my god, will you fucking spawn? Come on, let's do it. Deploy. Uh, so there's that. 
for some reason talking makes me yawn. Um, what else? Oh yeah, then the other. <laughs> Stupid. Whoa, dude! It's, oh shit! It's, oh, grenade, grenade! Fucking pew 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 pew! Fuck you! Oh shit! <laughs> Uh, the hells? I don't like how, um, when you're navigating, uh, it, uh, for the animation for it, you, like, snap, you know, um, into, like, railways or, you know, buildings or whatever. It takes, like, a second to do this, um, uh, just kind of, uh, uh, you, you know, just, just to, like, get on it. It does this, there's a second of, like, kind of wooziness where you're, like, the character is like not sure what the, where the hell he's going, like it's very prominent and um, infamous, like especially the first one. But I don't remember. Probably the second one, I probably had it too, and I haven't even played the third one yet. So yeah, that just kind of irritates me personally. It's, it's annoying to look at. It's not smooth like Uncharted or Assassin's Creed, where you just you know you fucking get on it, you grab that railway. Air. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what the fuck is wrong with me? So there's that, and um, what else? <laughs> also, personally, what, what, I don't know what, what that game itself is. It, it's very arcadey, in that you're just running around this little little world, just shooting things for points. That's literally all it is, and it's just kind of boring for me. I don't, like I have those types of games, uh, downloadable games from the PlayStation Network from years ago. And I barely played them because it just it just doesn't hold interest for me. But that's just me, you know. Whatever. It look it looks like a good game, so you know, good for whoever gets to play it. Can I get all sneaky up in these nuts? Ah, jeez. So all these wanted kills. Shit. Give me a chance. No, it's stop fucking calling for help. Uh, okay. So. Uh, <laughs> oh. One game that was shown, um, what is it, Inside? Wow, uh, Spawn and I were joking that it looks like, a, what is it, Limbo 2.0, which turns out it's the same company that made it. So yeah, it's uh, Limbo 2, there you go, in color. <laughs> it's in tech, Limbo in Technicolor, yeah. So there's that, uh, I don't fucking care for it, I mean, I look nifty. But whatever. Oh, shit. Yeah, bitch. Yeah, get some. Oh, are you kidding me? Whatever. <laughs> I got a kill. Number one. Oh, is he tagging? Teabagging me? So, what else? Oh, there was her. Uh... Ah! Um, like, one of the final games shown was Skillbound. Uh, it was just a trailer, no gameplay, but it was, it was kind of... I guess gameplay-wise, it looks interesting. Or what it's supposed to be, the premise. There, there you go. That's the word for it. Or this dude with Dre Beats, or Apple Beats, as they are now known, or will be known. Um, and they're fighting uh, dragon thingies, you know, whatever. Looks interesting. So yeah, that's Microsoft's thing. Overall, pretty good. I'm not a Microsoft guy. I'm a PlayStation guy. <laughs> so that's me. Uh, let's see, what what next? Sony's conference. Ho, 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 man. Uh, overall good, you know, you got the point across, you know, uh, yeah, they got the games, whatever, it's interesting how they started with like the small time things, I mean, the boring fucking statistics, they need to stop with showing these idiotic statistics, like nobody fucking cares, except for like, I guess, you know, business guys that want to invest, I don't fucking know how that thing works, but we don't care about the collective hours of, you know, playtime or how many times the share button was pressed. Why does this fucking matter? Nobody cares. Obviously, it's going to be some absurd number, but why bother narrowing it down for the, you know, the public as, as a good job? Hey, we did this, you know. Fuck, whatever. So, um, generally, I'm not very interested in indie games, even though I support them. Obviously, you know. We can't have entirely triple A, hundred million dollar projects that don't sell much. Yeah. Um. 
And uh, <laughs> I'm so absent-minded right now. I'm just, ugh. Yesterday, oh sorry, dude. Okay, comrade. Yeah, yesterday I was. I didn't sleep like after work, so I was awake for a long time and I took a, a like a one-hour nap between conferences because I was like, was I, I was both tired and bored and whatever. Spawner wasn't exactly helping in the staying awake department. Uh, God damn it! I want to hack too. You jackass! Get the hey, asshole! What? what? Fuck! I was I was pressing the button to kill the knife. Fucker! Hey, come on! Somebody pick me up! Come on! Styles, I say. Um, let's see, indie games. I guess, uh, from memory, I remember liking some of them, especially No Man's Sky, that looked really interesting. <laughs> At first I was like curious, like, if it was a new Ratchet and Clank, because that's what it was looking like, but whatever, you know, it's good. Um, hopefully it doesn't revolve entirely, hopefully, gameplay-wise, it's not too abstract, because all I saw was just looking at animals and then going pew-pew in space. That alone's gonna be fine, but I just hope it doesn't. It's not just that. I hope it's like you know more fleshed out, so it's not the same boring and well not personally boring, like Sunset Overdrive would be. Um, just don't make it too simple, you know. Uh, so I'm, I'm looking forward to that actually. And uh, hmm, what else? Whoa. Uh, forgot the rest of the indie game, so let's just move on to the. Fucking uh, AAA games, yay! Um, Little Big Planet three. Uh, if they're gonna make another Little Big Planet for the next gen, you know, don't. Mm, it looks way too much like like everything else. They didn't even. Sh they only showcased like the three new characters, which I think are gimmicks. I think Odd Sock was adorable and you know interesting, but that's it. Like. Uh, it's it should have been a more overall thing. And they also showed later after the uh, you know, make your own you know, fucking games, like worlds, whatever, etc. But uh, I don't know, overall, it's just disappointed. It, it should be like a complete overhaul, first and foremost. Fuck you! God, you fucking. Ugh. Where the hell are these people? Where are my teammates? Shit. Um. So yeah, don't really care for a little big planet three, or as I call it, little big P. Uh, let's see. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, they showed and made a big deal of. Are oh, you fucking kidding me? You retard! God damn it! They made showed and made a big deal about the multi-platform games. Um, was it Xbox or uh, PS4 that showed uh, um, Assassin's Creed Unity? Regardless, looking forward to it. Uh, way too many Assassin's Creed games like spread out. Even though you know personally I like the series, I don't care for the oversaturation of it. But mm, I don't know. I just like I, <laughs> I just would rather have it have less of them and more, you know, important. Like personally, I don't think. Well, not fuck personally. I don't think a four Black Flag should exist. In the form that it is, it's a goddamn prequel to three, like you know, the big numbered game. And then here comes the next big numbered game, like out of nowhere, like immediately after, and it's a prequel. What the hell? I'm sure it's a great game, and I'll pick it up for a PS4 when I get a PS4. But come on, get your priorities straight. Presentation, come on, you gotta, you gotta, hey, come on, guys. Um, so there's that. So yeah, Unity, France, uh, what is the French Revolution is what a lot of people wanted. So we finally get that. I'd, I'd rather have, okay, France, French Revolution, it's, it's, it's going to be a spectacle, you know. So it'll be interesting. But I'd rather have more like Eastern, like some sort of Asian country. Like a lot of people want J um, Japan, like, like medieval Japan. Well, not exactly medieval time-wise, but... You know, fucking samurais and shit, you know, come on, we gotta have some of that. <laughs> uh, so there's that, maybe even Egypt, you know, like, as a super prequel, like ancient Egypt, 
fuck. Wait, that's not. Damn it. Ah, I'm bad at sniping. I haven't played a first person shooter in so long. Like, many months I've not played. I'm still waiting for a fucking spawner so, so we can record Duke Nukem forever. Because fuck you, that's, I like that game. Well, I haven't played it yet, so I don't like it necessarily. But I find it interesting, so I'm gonna play it anyway. I bought it for four bucks. So there's that. Uh, what else? Hmm. So, the, <laughs> Fans Creed, interesting. I, <laughs> the one thing that stood out to me the most that I'm look that I'm looking forward to that I'm impressed by is uh, the fucking a uh, cloth of physics. It looks realistic, and we're finally there where we can have free flowing uh, cloth. Woo! Yay! So there's that. Um, <laughs> then they showed um, Batman Arkham Knight, which looks amazing. I'm not, I like Batman, but I'm not like the hardcore uh, fanatic of it, whatever. So the series itself is not for me. I won't get all the references and crap. But still, uh, graphics-wise, it looked amazing. Oh, fuck incredible. Uh, what else? Uh, can, I, can I say everything before I stop recording? To make this the E3 episode of Destiny. Not fucking Destiny, dust. Speaking of Destiny, I don't care for it. It does not interest me like... Uh, first person shooters don't interest me in general. It is just you know mag was the one was like my is my favorite shooter ever. I don't know what the why I never figured it out. It's just fun simple fun in the same vein um, when I played counter-strike a little bit the global offensive when it was like a, the beta I like that too a little bit a little too simple, but I liked it And then this is okay. I, I like the premise, but it's it's obviously bare bones and very dry very dry feeling like basically destiny is going to be like a dice dust diced d dust 5142.0 or something so uh, i guess in that respect it's going to be interesting but i just i just don't fucking care for it and i think it's way overhyped obviously i don't know why maybe because it's the new bungie game and it's because it's going to be on the ps4 so whatever don't care for it it'll be hilarious if it flops I'll, I'll honestly laugh if it gets like a like an 8.0 or something in general average reviews. Um, let's take my shitty stats. Next. Oh jeez, I don't wanna. Wow. <laughs> don't even care. At least it's not mag where it just kills my streak. So there's that. Um, let's see what else. Oh, they showed that Bloodborne. Well, what people thought, kept fucking calling online a Demon Souls 2 when it's fucking not Demon Souls 2. You retards. It has like, you're using guns. It's not Demon Souls. It's not even a fucking Souls game, it turns out. Basically the same thing. Same uh, type of game, but it's not, you know, a Souls game. Whatever. It looks interesting. Obviously, my friend Spawner is more into that type of stuff, so he'll be more interested in it. Probably, hopefully, uh, if he's not, you know. <laughs> hey, Spawner. Um... Ugh. Yeah. What else? Uh, fucking. I guess Uncharted for the last thing to talk about. It was funny. Um, a lot of people were looking, were like basically saying, like this idiotic uh, hive mind online mentality that Lost Guardian is going to be announced. I think it's going to be announced. No, it's not going to be fucking announced. Why would you like say it will be? Just say, I think, hope, or you hope. But no. Whatever. Uncharted 4 is obviously the final thing. I wasn't. They didn't show gameplay, which is you know a little bit disappointing. It's just another trailer, cinematic thing. But I liked how it ended with um, the serious tone and the the skeletons in the cages. I it either I <laughs> I wrote this somewhere. I think yeah when I was posting online. Um. Uh, what is it? It's either g gonna. Um, gonna take place in the first island from the first game which i really like the first game it's my favorite uncharted game fuck all of you it's the gamiest game of them all the perfect blend of cinematic story whatever and then game it, the rest of them are too cinematic too many puzzles too many things happening so anyway uh yeah looking forward to it, whatever i don't think there should be another uncharted game unless it's like the ultimate finish and it's called the thief sand so hopefully it's the final fucking game 
like just let it uh, naughty dog make something new already um so what what am i getting at here oh yeah so <laughs> it's either gonna be the original island and or <laughs> a more serious possibly like like thriller like scary at some sort of scary element like this is it, you know. That's what I. That's like the one thing I'm looking forward to from Uncharted Four. Also, the graphics. I want to see what Naughty Dog does. <laughs> I want to see some fucking crisis level you know, thing. So yeah, that's it. That's uh, what the hell we saw. That's always that's all we saw from E3. When I went online today, I skimmed through um, fucking Nintendo's thing. And unsurprisingly, all the fucking showed or <coughs> oh, oh sh shut the fuck up. This very, uh, final thing from yeah, Sony. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> um, the Ratchet and Clank business. Uh, they showed another trailer for the movie, which turns out, uh, for some reason, I, I don't remember if it was an announced as such or or people were just saying it. Um, it was assumed that it was going to be like a retelling of the original uh, game story, whatever it's not. So it's an original story. Hopefully, it's going to be good. It seems okay so far. And uh, the, honestly, the one thing I was that's most exciting to me um, from the entire conference, well, entire E three this year, was uh, the first game is being remade for the PlayStation Four. That's 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 not. And that tells me how much, uh, how much um, I found uh, th uh, this year appealing. There's not many good things, personally. Um, so yeah, that's it. Uh, uh, hopefully they don't tamper with the story or you know the aesthetics of it. They just keep it vanilla. You know, maybe add some trinkets here and there, but just keep the the, the same game with some sweet ass next gen technology. Ah. Oh. So there's that. That's my most looked forward to thing in general. Uh, and Xbox wise, the thing both my friend and I were super excited about, you can hear our reactions, was when Conquer was shown for Project Spark. I, I still don't fucking know, understand what Project Spark is. Um, yeah, we thought it was going to be a new fucking game, but it was just an extension. Like, it's going to be, he's going to just be some playable character in it or something. I don't fucking know. Why the fuck don't they make a new Conquer? There's all these games that people keep saying, make this, we'll buy it. It's going to sell a shit ton of money and copies if you make this game, if you give us another sequel of this type of game. And companies don't do it. They just remake the same shit or make some other new crap that nobody fucking cares about. Why are businesses so fucking stupid? Ridiculous. So anyway. Great. I just have one grenade. Are you fucking kidding me? Whatever. <laughs> that was a disaster. Sniper, come on, think. Think like a sniper. So, yeah, I, just, I also just remembered uh, um, the game evolved from Microsoft's thing. I don't care for it. It's another woohoo zombie left for dead uh, fucking co op shooty thing. What the hell? I don't fucking care. The Kraken looked okay, whatever. I don't, <laughs> I don't give a shit. And also the Master Chief Collection from Halo. Yay, more Halo. Woo. Um, I, I'm reading online. People are saying that's the best thing. Which I, I understand if that's their favorite. If they love Halo, obviously it's going to be their, their best thing. But a collection of all the Halo games and whatever. It's, what the fuck ever. It's not that that's not, it's not that amazing. Like <laughs> there's, a, uh, there's an Ezio Trilogy collection. You know, of, from uh, Assassin's Creed, nobody made a big deal out of that. It's basically the same thing. Well, not really, but, you know. Same premise. I need to stop saying that word. Um, I do like the... I did like the, the one feature they mentioned of uh, over 100 uh, maps for multiplayer. From, like, pretty much every Halo game ever. So that made me think. In instead of, like, making this, like, a... Uh, I think Spano mentioned this, too. Just, just make a Halo online game because that's obviously what people want like who how many people honestly care about the fucking story Personally, I don't I don't care for Halo, but you know 
if that's what people want, then just make an online game for Halo and Call of Duty. Who cares about those single player anymore? Because that's everyone, literally everyone, shits on the story. So why bother? Just make an online game. Call of Duty Online. Halo Online. You'll sell whatever the fuck you want. And also have, have some, you know, freemium type of things. Like, a premium buy things. And there you go. Money Central. So is that it? Is that everything I have to say? Oh yeah, Nintendo. Uh, same franchises for the most part. Like, two or three. Well, the only new thing. The, old, the one new thing. Was, uh, shit. 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 Come on. Explode, goddammit. Piece of shit. Okay, fine. Time for assault. I'm literally not paying attention to what I'm doing. So yeah, more Zelda. Woo. And people are intent hearts, as I call them. Are saying, oh, E3, Nintendo won. Fucking E3. Because they announced the same fucking franchises for the past, like, three decades. It's the same shit. Ugh. Jesus. So yeah, um, I suppose it's fine. <laughs> I guess for the next episode I'll discuss the Wii U. So, God damn it! What the hell am I doing? So what am I saying? Should I talk about the Wii U next episode? What the fuck are you doing, dude? Bob. What the hell am I saying? What am I doing? I don't know. I, oh, I want to uh, talk about Wii U, Wii U sales stuff, Nintendo, what the hell else did they show? Just. Okay, I'll, I'll talk about Nintendo Wii U next episode, alright? Peace!